If a man walked up to you in the street and said which, you'd probably say, well, you'd probably say, sorry, I'm in a hurry, or I haven't got any change. But if you didn't, then you'd probably say which, yes, the magazine that tests washing machines, allowing me to say, correct, sir, and or madam, but that is a small part of what we do. Let me show you this animated infographic film by way of explanation. Let's head back and begin at the beginning. It's 1957 in East London's Bethnal Green, and for which it all began in a garage. I'm guessing the usual clutter of broken and partially I can fix that lawnmowers and household appliances inspired Michael Young to say, what we need is proper impartial advice on which kettle to buy so it doesn't end up in this ruddy garage. And so which was born created by that social reformer and helped initially by volunteers, which has always been a not-for-profit organisation. But not-for-profit doesn't mean there aren't any profits. We're not a sandal-weaving commune where everyone's paid in porridge. It just means the profits are ploughed back into our campaigns and free to all products and services. But how do we fund all of these things, you might ask? Well, which generates its revenue from subscriptions to our famous and respected magazines, for its online services, and via our very expert advice, including legal and mortgage services. But, and this really is quite a big but, in fact it's probably the biggest but you'll ever see, at least in this film, which does not take advertising or donations from government, industry or individuals. Imagine if which were a dog, stay with me on this, we would be the dog on the right, a loyal, vigilant, consumer watchdog, not a pointless pampered pooch. Because which is completely self-sufficient, our members and supporters trust us to be expert and impartial and to sniff out substandard products and services. And this is why we've gone from one man with a broken kettle in 1957 to over three quarters of a million members in 2013, which, if we were to house them all, would require 86,000 garages. Our members and supporters are more than just consumers looking for the next tumble dryer. They're more like a club. Not that sort of club. More like a movement. No, they're not hippies. Well... Look, which consists of over three quarters of a million voices who can make real world changes. But how does that actually happen is no doubt your next question. Allow me to show you through the complex majesty of an animated flowchart. OK, so here we put consumers' needs first to bring them better value. We give people information and advice that helps make often complex markets simpler and easier to understand so people can then make more informed decisions. Sounds simple, but this isn't always possible. And this gives us our campaigns, where we use real people power to make change happen. These changes can then affect the way a market works for the advantage of consumers and good businesses, including which who might know a thing or two about a good business venture. You see, which exists to make the individual as powerful as the organisations they deal with every day. And that's no bad thing. But it's not all David v Goliath. We also recognise and champion those organisations that do get it right. Through our endorsement icons, Best Buy and Recommended Provider, we publicly recognise excellent products and services. And beyond that, we have the famous Witch Awards, the most highly prized consumer accolade in the corporate trophy cabinet perhaps only trumped by the Abingdon Bar Billiards League runner-up shield 1987, which I have. And while we don't get a witch award, we like to think we're in a unique position to do the right thing, finding the best solution to people's everyday problems, which is a lot more than just a guy to buy in a washing machine, sexy as that might be. Thank you very much for watching.